All right, so I'm just gonna lift the car up and I'll show you from underneath. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show this because it, again, I really like the uh, um, the lift from Harbor Freight. So I just wanted to kind of show how easy it is and how high it goes. And it's been really kind of one of the best pieces of equipment that I bought. <laughs> So there you go, it's fairly quick. Um, it's lifted um, high enough where it's actually pretty comfortable to, to kind of get underneath and work underneath the car. And you can't stand under here, but if I'm kneeling, um, there's plenty of headroom. So you can kind of make it to any of the underneath parts do the wiring um, uh, and so since I'm under here I'll just kind of show so again with the the crate motor comes with an oil pan that sticks down way way too low um, so I do have to you did have to get um, a different oil pan that again kind of now is level with the bottom of the chassis so it won't be sticking down um, it is actually maybe less than half an inch sticking down, but that's as high as I can get uh, the motor and the transaxle. Um, so I am gonna kind of make a little bit of a, a brace just to kind of keep that from, if I do hit something, th that those bolts and that oil pan is not gonna be the thing that gets hit. So I'll put a brace right across here um, just so I have a little bit of safety there. Um, but that's a necessary purchase if you're going to buy a crate engine is to get the shallow oil pan. Um, and I did make a, I made a little bracket. It's really hard to see, um, but it's right here, um, for the, um, uh, emergency brake, um, mounting right there. And again, I don't have it hooked up yet, but, um, so just so it's out of the way, away from the exhaust as much as possible, we'll kind of wrap that with some heat shield just so keep those push-pull cables and all the wiring that's in that area kind of away from that heat of that exhaust. Same on this side, uh, push-pull cable on that side and some wiring, um, we'll get that uh, away from the exhaust as well. Keep it as cool as possible. Um, so I've got some buttoning up to do of some wires the crossover fuel line. Um, moving up front, um, again, I'll get these um, battery cables tucked up and out of the way, but you can see that the brake cables and clutch cables, um, those lines are out of the way, tucked up, and um, no issues there. Um, that tube is just for the air conditioner uh, drain. So once I get that centerpiece uh, of aluminum there, um, that will be up and out of the way as well. Um, again, next thing I have to do is kind of put some of these um, underneath panels on. Um, and I hate for anything to come up and hit the bottom of that fuel tank while I'm doing the test drive. Um, doesn't say to do that in the manual, but Obviously, I'm going to do that. It's probably the one of the more safer things to do. So, again, really easy to work under here with this lift. Um, definitely a great purchase. And if you have the the room and the means to do it, um, if you're working on a car like this, um, as much time as you spend underneath the car, really nice having a lift.